We'd like to share with you why it is that we believe that Molly Dukas have so much flavour. We talked about fruit weight as being the major impact for our wines, the thing that creates the wow. But also what we do is we try and make sure that there are so many layers of complexity, of flavour in our wines. What we found is, looking at different winemakers, is that there's two major things that winemakers measure in the vineyard when they're about to harvest their grapes, or even through the whole viticultural season. The first thing they measure is acid. Now, acid starts off very high. You know that when you taste a, a green grape, put it in your mouth, it's all acidic and hard, right? So the acid starts off very high and then drops off due, during the viticultural season. The other thing that winemakers measure is sugar. Now sugar obviously in the, vineyard, in the winery converts to being alcohol, all right? So sugar starts off low and then increases during the viticultural season. Now, those are the two of the structural components. We talked before about the fact that for us, as winemakers, what we need to do is we need to get a perfectly balanced structure between acid, alcohol, and tannin and to lay flavor over the top. What Sarah and I found in our winemaking for Molly Duca is that there's actually a third curve that most winemakers should, fo well, all winemakers should focus on in the winery. <laughs> Not right. Not in the winery. In the vineyards. That they should focus on during the growing of the grapes. And that third curve is flavor. The flavor starts low and then increases. Now the two curves that most winemakers focus on, the acid and the sugar curves, um, are totally dependent on the weather. If you have really hot weather, they compress and the sugar level goes up very quickly and the acid drops very quickly. If the weather's cold, the, weather, the sugar goes up slowly and the acid decreases slowly. But flavor, which Sarah and I believe, be, believe to be, believe, believe, I sound like Elmer Fudd, right? Believe to be the most important, goes, is totally independent of weather and totally dependent on what the crop level in the vineyards are. So what we've been doing, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at what happens for most winemaking situations. Most winemakers, let's say we pick at uh, 26 bricks. Um, somebody asked me, somebody said to me the other day, I was asking them, what, what, what level would you pick your grapes at? And they said, oh, 23 bricks. I'm thinking, I don't think I'd even get out of bed for 23 bricks. So let's say 26. Let's say you pick at about 26 bricks. Now for what happens in most winemakers, let's go across over here to the sugar line, and this they pick on a certain day. But you can see from where the flavor curve is that they only have about 25% of flavor in relation to the sugar and acid level. So what happens for most winemaking situations is that instead of having structure and having flavor on top of the structure, they have way more structure than flavor. And so most winemakers make their wines this way around. They've got plenty of acid, tannin, and, and alcohol, structural components, but not much flavor. What we wanted to do with the wines that we make for Molly Duca is to have it the other way around. So for the last 20 years in the research work we've been doing is we've been working out how to delay the sugar curve until the sugar curve sits on top of the flavor curve so we can get balance. We do that through our vineyard watering program. So you can see what we do is we work to push the sugar curve backwards until it sits exactly on top of the flavor curve. Now let's say we still pick at 26 bricks what that then means is we pick around about 10 days later to what everybody else does, but in relation to it, we have the same amount of flavor or the same intensity of flavor as the uh, sugar, but our acid curve is much lower. So that means our structural components start to fit in perfect balance with our flavor curve. So we end up with Molly Duca, we end up with a perfectly balanced structure, but to that to be the foundation, right, the underpinning of flavor, and we have flavor sitting on top. So whenever you taste Molly Dukas, and that's the comment we sometimes get is like, do these wines have a lot of structure? The answer is yes, all Molly Dukas have plenty of structure in them, but they actually have way more flavor, way more fruit than structure. And the fruit sits on top, rather than sitting underneath the structure, which what happens in most wine cir winemaking circumstances. So for us, that's what we do to create that difference. It's only around about 10 days different in the vineyard, but it's a total change in how people, uh, and, and the flavors, how people see and taste our wines. That's what makes, we reckon, makes them so enjoyable. We hope you enjoy them as well.